Good day class. Welcome to your geography class for grade 5. I'm excited to explore the world with you this year. Today, we're going to dive into some fundamental concepts that will help us better understand the Earth and its geography. Let's get started. In this lesson, we will talk about the world map and compass directions. The world map is like a giant puzzle that helps us understand where places are in relation to each other. It's like a snapshot of our planet. Compass directions are like our navigation tools. They help us figure out which way is which. Think of them as your guide to finding your way around. We will also talk about the position of the equator, the North Pole and South Pole on the globe. We will also revisit the names of the seven continents we learnt in grade 4. We will learn the eight points on the compass, the compass is like a magical tool that helps us navigate. There are four main directions or cardinal directions, north, south, east, and west. But there are also intermediate directions if we move diagonally, northeast, northwest, southeast, and southwest. We will also learn about these. This year, we'll have the opportunity to explore each of these concepts in more detail. We'll learn about different countries, cultures, and how the Earth's geography influences the way people live. So get ready for an exciting journey around the globe. If you have any questions along the way, don't hesitate to send us an email. Let's make this a fantastic year of discovery and learning. The Earth is not just a flat surface, it's a sphere. That is why some refer to it as a globe. There is no top or bottom. A sphere is just a fancy word for something that's shaped like a ball. Now, think about the Earth. When you look at pictures of it from space, it looks like a big, round ball. The North and South Poles are the two points on the Earth's surface that are on opposite ends of the Earth. The North Pole is the most northern spot on Earth. You can also say it is the furthest north you can go. The North Pole is on the Arctic, which is mostly frozen sea ice. Santa Claus is traditionally said to reside at the North Pole in folk stories. Sometimes it has super long days with lots of sunlight, and other times it has super long nights when it's all dark. You also have polar bears, these big white bears, hanging out there. The South Pole is the southernmost point on Earth. It is situated on the continent of Antarctica. The South Pole is in Antarctica, a huge icy continent at the southern end of the Earth. There is lots of snow, ice, and freezing temperatures at the South Pole. Penguins love the South Pole. They're these cute, waddling birds, and you'll find them hanging out there. Just like the North Pole, the South Pole has times when it has super long days with lots of sunlight, and other times it has super long nights when it's all dark. Scientists have cool research stations there. They study everything from climate to penguins. So, when you hear about the South Pole, think of a frozen wonderland where penguins play and scientists explore. The equator is an imaginary line that divides the Earth into the northern and southern hemispheres. The equator is midway between the North Pole and the South Pole. It's an imaginary line, not a physical structure. Places near the equator are usually warm all year round. Think tropical vibes. Day and night are kinda equal near the equator, around 12 hours each. The Northern Hemisphere is like the upper half of the Earth, it includes places like North America, Northern Africa, Europe, and Asia. When it's summer in the Northern Hemisphere, it's winter in the Southern Hemisphere, and vice versa. The Northern Hemisphere is separated from the Southern Hemisphere by the equator. Egypt is north of the equator so it is in the Northern Hemisphere. The Southern Hemisphere is like the bottom half, it includes places like Australia, South America, and Southern Africa. South Africa is south of the equator, so it is in the Southern Hemisphere. In which hemisphere are the following countries? 
Japan, Senegal, New Zealand. Look for a map of the world to help you answer this. Cardinal points and intermediate points are terms used to describe directions on a compass or a map. Cardinal points are like the main directions, helping us navigate and understand where things are located. There are four cardinal points, north, south, east and west. North is the direction towards the North Pole. It's the top on a map or compass. South is the direction towards the South Pole. It's the bottom on a map or compass. East is the direction where the sun rises. It's to the right on a map or compass. West is the direction where the sun sets. It's to the left on a map or compass. Between each pair of cardinal points, you have intermediate points. They are diagonal directions that fall between the cardinal points. Intermediate points provide more specific directions, allowing us to be even more precise in describing locations or navigating from one place to another. The northeast is between north and east. The northwest is between north and west. The southeast is between south and east. The southwest is between south and west. A compass is a special instrument with a needle that always points north. A compass will also have cardinal and intermediate points, but the needle will always point to the north. A compass is a handy device that helps you figure out directions. Compasses are like your personal guide when you're hiking, camping, or exploring. They help you know which way to go. Hikers and soldiers in the pictures to the right are using compasses to find direction. Pilots use compasses in planes, and sailors use them on ships to know which way they are going. Modern smartphones are equipped with a built-in compass. Ask mom and dad to install a compass app on their smartphone and see if you can tell where the north is from your home or school. Continents are large, distinct landmasses that make up the Earth's surface. These continents are usually separated by oceans. There are seven continents on Earth. Each continent has its own story, with different people, landscapes, and adventures waiting to be explored. Together, they make our world a diverse and exciting place. Asia is the largest continent, home to diverse cultures. Countries like China, India, Russia, Japan, and the mighty Himalayan mountains are found in Asia. Africa is the second largest continent. It is known for its rich wildlife. Africa is the place of vast deserts, like the Sahara Desert and the Kalahari Desert. Incredible landscapes such as Table Mountain in South Africa and the Serengeti are in Africa. North America is where you find the United States, Canada, and Mexico. It's got everything from the Rocky Mountains to the Grand Canyon. South America is famous for the Amazon rainforest and the Andes Mountains. Countries like Brazil, Argentina, and Peru call this continent home. Antarctica is the icy wonderland at the bottom of the Earth. Penguins, seals, and lots of ice characterize this continent. Europe is known as the continent of history. You will find countries like France, Germany, and Italy with landmarks like the Eiffel Tower and the Colosseum. Australia is also known as the land down under. It is known for unique wildlife, like kangaroos, 